Hello everybody. Hope everyone is doing good. In earlier sessions, we have discussed problems where the follower motion was simple harmonic, uniform acceleration and retardation, and and in uniform velocity. And also the type of follower were knife edge and roller type. In today's session, we will solve problems where the type of follower are flat faced. So let's directly start with the problem. It's as given a cam drives a flat reciprocating follower in the following manner. During first 120 degree rotation of the cam, follower moves outwards, that means outstroke, through a distance of 20 mm. That means when it says a through a distance of 20 mm, it indicates the lift of the follower or is, is donated by S with simple harmonic motion. The follower dwells during next 30 degree of cam rotation. During next 120 degree of cam rotation, the follower moves inwards with simple harmonic motion. So that this 120 degree of cam rotation, the follower moves inwards means it is the return stroke with simple harmonic motion. The follower dwells for the next 90 degree of cam rotation. The minimum radius of the cam is 25 mm. Draw the profile of the cam. So this is the problem. In the beginning of the problem, they mentioned that the follower type is flat. It's not knife edge or nor it is a roller. It's a flat type. And they mentioned the the follower uh, uh, how the follower is moving. It is 120 degree rotation initially, and that is out stroke, and the lift is 20 mm. And with simple and it's also clearly mentioned the type of motion the follower is following is simple harmonic motion. The follower dwells, that means it rests for the next 30 degree. And next, during the next 120 degree of cam rotation, the follower moves inwards. That means it is a return stroke with simple harmonic motion. So we need to draw the profile of the cam for the given problem. Before that, we need to draw the displacement diagram. Uh, as discussed in the earlier problems so far, first we need to draw the horizontal line AX. And this horizontal line AX represents the outstroke, dwell, return stroke, and dwell as mentioned in the problem. So mark 120 degree, that is outstroke, 30 degrees as well, return stroke 120 degree, and again well 90 degree using some suitable scale. And after marking it, divide the outstroke and the return stroke into equal number of even parts. Okay, it, it should be a number of equal even parts. It can be 4, 6, 8, 10. In this particular case, uh, it is there is given as 6. So divide the stroke and return stroke into 6 equal even parts. After marking it, draw vertical lines through these points. That is, one, uh, if we have divided into 6, mark it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Through this, draw the vertical lines. And the height of these vertical lines will be 20 mm that is the lift that is s and then complete the rectangle box once that has been done as the problem is simple harmonic motion draw a semicircle draw a semicircle on the left side as shown then divide that semicircle again into equal number of even parts same as that of the outstroke and return stroke and mark it as a b c d small letter a b c d e and from these points, draw horizontal lines. From A, B, C, D, draw the horizontal lines. Now, as can be seen, when we draw the horizontal lines from A, it intersects the vertical line point, vertical line 1, and B intersects the vertical line at 2, and so on. So, wherever it intersects, mark those points as B, C, D, E, G, H, and so on, up to and up to P. So once those points have been marked, join all these points with a smooth curve. So this completes the displacement diagram. Next, let us see how to draw the profile of the cam. Now, earlier problems we have drawn profile of the cam where the type of follower was either knife edge or roller type. Now we should remember in a knife edge, the pitch curve, 
in knife edge we don't get the pitch curve okay so what is actually say pitch curve when we say pitch curve it represents the curve generated by the trace point as the follower moves relative to the cam okay so but if you take the case of a knife edge follower the pitch because it's a knife edge the edge is touching the as in direct contact with the cam the pitch curve and the cam profile are same the pitch curve and the profile of the cam profile are the same whereas for a roller follower as well as a flat press follower they will be separated okay so we should always remember for a knife edge follower there is no pitch curve but if we take if we have uh, drawn the pitch curve for a roller follower also for a flat face follower pitch curve has can be drawn okay but the difference between a flat flat faced follower and a roller follower when drawing a pitch curve is that in a roller follower we have seen that will be drawing the prime circle will be drawing the prime circle but for a knife edge and a flat face follower the prime circle as well as the base circle are identical as you can see here we just have the base circle okay we don't have the prime circle but whenever a roller follower is there there will always be a prime circle remember that so let's see how to draw the cam profile for the flat faced follower is this uh, what the first step is as already discussed in almost in all the problems first draw a base circle with center o and radius o a that is equal to the radius of the cam that has been given that is 25 mm once the base circle has been drawn draw the angles a o s that means it represents the outstroke then the other is equal to 120 degree then draw the angle sot that is the dwell and the angle top again that is 120 degree to represent the return stroke so once that has been done divide these angular placements divide the angular placements of 120 degree that is outstroke and 120 degree that is a return stroke into same number of equal even parts same number of equal even parts as in the displacement diagram that is 6 right once that has been done divide uh, once the div uh, division part has been done join the points that is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 with center o and make sure that this the lines that we draw to the points 1 2 3 4 5 6 and o dash 1 dash so on it goes beyond the base circle it goes beyond the base circle now once that has been done the next step is transfer the distance that is 1 b from the displacement diagram by using a compass transfer those distances 1 b measure 1 b in the displacement diagram come back to the cam profile take 1 as the center and cut a arc again go back to displacement diagram measure 2c come back to profile of the cam take 2 as the center and cut a arc on the line same way uh, transfer all the distance all the values from displacement to profile and wherever the arc has been cut mark those as b c d e f up to p now these points that is arc that has been cut we can join all these points with a dotted smooth curve and this to the base circle this represents the pitch curve okay wherever the arc has been cut uh, wherever we have marked b c d e join all those with a dotted lines so that we get a smooth dotted curve and this curve is called as the pitch curve now once that has been done next we need to uh, in an earlier problem that is what was in a if it was a roller type of problem we would have taken b c d as the center and uh, radius of the roller f and then we would have drawn the circles through all these points but as this is a flat faced we have to draw the flat faced follower so to do that wherever 
we have marked uh, uh, B, C, D, E, E in all those positions, we need to draw perpendicular lines. Okay, we need to draw perpendicular lines to the to the points one uh, where uh, B, C, D has been marked. Okay, so remember after drawing the pitch curve, draw perpendicular lines with points a, B, C, D, E uh, to the radial lines, so on. We need to draw the perpendicular lines to all these points. Now, once the perpendicular lines has been drawn, finally draw a smooth curve, and this smooth curve will be tangential to the flat face of the follower. Okay. Now, once the flat face follower has been represented through all these points, and the type of lines will be always be perpendicular to the points. Once that has been drawn, now we need to draw a smooth curve and this curve will be tangential. This curve will be tangential to the flat face of the follower so as to get the required cam profile as shown in the figure. So this is how we need to draw the cam profile for a flat faced follower. Here almost most of the steps is same but how it is different from knife edge knife edge we don't get the pitch curve we just join the uh, transfer those values from displacement diagram to the uh, cam profile of the cam and then we join all those points as smooth curve where is in a roller follower wherever the arc has been cut we take that as a center and draw the rollers we draw the roller uh, the dimension will be radius of the roller and then we join the bottom of all the rollers to get the cam profile but in flat face follower once the arc has been cut we can join all those points arc like b c d e to get a pitch curve after that the flat face follower has to be drawn and that and that flat face follower will be drawn perpendicular to the points of b c d e f we have to draw perpendicular to this and after drawing all those flat face followers they all the the now as to get the smooth curve we need to draw a curve that is tangential to the flat face of the follower okay so that's the process for drawing the profile of the cam for a flat face follower let's move on to the next problem here it is said that it is required to set out the profile of a cam to give the following motion to the reciprocating follower with a flat mushroom contact face and the details they are given follower to have a stroke of 20 mm that is the lift during 120 degree of cam rotation follower to dwell for 30 degree of cam rotation follower to return to its initial position during 120 degree of cam rotation and follower to dwell for remaining 90 degree of cam rotation the minimum radius of the cam is 25 mm the outstroke and return stroke of the follower is performed with simple harmonic motion. So, in the start, beginning itself, they mentioned the reciprocating the follower reciprocates with a flat mushroom contact face. That is, it's a flat faced follower. Then they mentioned the stroke that is 20 mm lift, and it is during 120 degree of cam rotation. That is the outstroke. It's dwells for next 30 degree of cam rotation again it returns to its initial position that is a return stroke during 120 degree of cam rotation then fall over to dwell for remaining 90 degree of cam rotation and they also mentioned radius of cam is 25 mm so this value so this is what they have given let's see how to draw the cam profile so first we you know we need to draw the displacement diagram as discussed in earlier problem you have to follow the same procedure initially draw a horizontal line AX and this represents the outstroke, well, return stroke, and well. So, this outstroke, well, return stroke, and well, everything you know, take a suitable scale and we have to draw it. Then, mark the outstroke that is AS, then the dwell ST, then return stroke TP, and the dwell again for PX. Now, once that has been drawn, uh, marked, divide the outstroke and return stroke 
equal number of even parts here they divide into six mark it as one two three four five six and one dash two dash right then draw vertical lines through these points and the height of the vertical line will be equal to the lift of the follower that is 20 mm then you complete the rectangle once that has been done now as this is a simple harmonic motion so it's very important uh, we have to look carefully whether it's a uniform velocity simple harmonic motion or uniform excitation or retardation or cyclodial cyclodial will not yet discussed but we have discussed the other three suppose if it is a simple uh, if it is suppose if it's uniform velocity uh, we just join by a straight line we don't get a curve if it is a uniform excitation and retardation motion then we have discussed earlier how to draw the displacement diagram we take the midpoint again divide that midpoint at equal number of given parts and and we continue it draw the curve but here it is simple harmonic motion so we need to draw a semicircle okay with radius equal to that of the lift now once that has been done you draw, divide the semicircle again into equal number of even parts same that that of outstroke and return stroke uh, and then mark it as a b c d e then draw horizontal lines from this semicircle now we, here we can notice the semi the point a when draw horizontally it intersects the vertical line one at point b again if we draw a horizontal line from b it intersects the vertical line at two at c same so, so that uh, mark all those intersection points as b c d e up to n then join all these points by a smooth curve hence we get the displacement diagram after the displacement diagram has been drawn the next step is to draw the profile of the cam so the first thing is that we need to draw a circle with o as the center and a base and we draw base circle and the base circle value as given in the problem is 25 mm now once that has been done represent the outstroke wealth and the return stroke on the base circle so mark 120 degree 30 degree and 120 degree and that is aos or uh, so after marking the uh, trans um, outstroke well and return stroke divide the outstroke and return stroke into equal number of parts same as a displacement diagram that is six and mark it as one two three and four dash one dash two dash after doing that uh, draw lines radial lines from o a center uh, through the points one two three and when drawing the lines make sure that the, these lines go beyond the base circle. Now, once that has been done, transfer from the displacement diagram the value of 1b. Take a compass, measure 1b in the displacement diagram, come back to the cam profile, take 1 as the center and cut the arc and mark it as b. Same way, measure 2c from the displacement diagram, come back to the profile of the cam, take 2 as the center and again cut an arc, mark it as c. Same way, represent all this like d e f up to p now once that has been done join all these points that is b c d e f by a smooth dotted curve this represents the pitch curve now once that has been done we need to draw the cam profile and as again discussed earlier first we need to draw the flat faced follower on the points of B, C, D, E, and that will be done by drawing perpendicular lines to the radial lines. We will draw the flat face follows by drawing perpendicular lines to the radial lines at point B, C, D, E. Okay, uh, hope you understood. We need to draw perpendicular lines to the radial lines that comes out that is 1, 2, 3, with, uh, taking points B, C, D. Once that has been done, next we need to draw a smooth curve tangential to the flat faces of the follower so as to get the required cam profile. So this completes the profile of the cam. I repeat again, based on the type of follower, we will 
getting different profile of the cam. If it is a knife edge, you should remember there is no pitch curve. We just directly draw the cam profile. But that is not the case if it is a roller follower. Whenever we have a roller follower, we need to draw the prime circle. Once we have drawn the base circle, we need to draw the prime circle. And then in that prime circle, we will be getting the pitch curve. Right. But in a flat face follower, we just by just there is no need of drawing the prime circle. We draw the base circle and then we mark transfer the values uh, as discussed. Then if we join all those points of arc that has been drawn, we get the pitch curve. Right? Then from that from that this pitch curve we will be getting the cap profile. So that is how it has to be done. Uh, hope uh, you have understood this. So just go through uh, these two problems and if you have any doubts please do let me know. Anyhow I will be sharing the uh, step by step procedure of drawing how to draw the flat face follower. I will be sharing that through the whatsapp. You can just go through that and if you have any doubts regarding the same you can either call me up or message me. Thank you.